Hello and welcome to free VBA tips today I am going to show you a brand new tool that is developed on VBA which can be used for which we can use for warehousing uh, yes for warehousing yes so what this tool do is uh, you can uh, you can make track of your daily transactions your daily expenses the products the vendors the customers and then we have reports that we can customize based on a date or a year or a month whatever we like so let us see how this tool works and how we are going to take benefit out of this tool okay so when you will log in on this tool first of all you'll get this particular screen free VBA tips yeah this is great great tool developed by free tips so uh, <clears throat> first of all uh, to track the transactions we have to have a product so let us add a product we go to product and let us say that we want to sell uh, uh, what we sell uh, 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 any Indian product okay Pitanjali uh, rice PR Pitanjali rice the uh, code number 49 and that is Pitanjali rice uh, cost for is 20 rupees and the vendor name is not there Kalaram okay so we say that is it's Guruji is the vendor name ABC uh, Pitanjali Bhavan and it's in Haridwar okay so vendor phone is uh, 9700 and my email is Pita at the rate Haridwar dot dot d w a r dot com. So once we add a vendor over here, it will say that vendor has been added correctly, and then we have a Guruji over here. We come back over here, and then we choose Guruji from here. So this is how a vendor is being added, and we click on add. Great. So product has been added, which is a a a a Pitanjali rice. And it is uh, the vendor is Guruji and 20 rupees is the cost price and the selling price 30 rupees okay great so now we come back to home and then we make some transactions so we have uh, Pitanjali rice over here so it, it is automatically selected over here now we can uh, enter the uh, the units or we can purchase or sell it so right now we if we see over here there is no unit so we have to purchase something right obviously we have to purchase something so 100 unit we want to purchase if we click on add so it's saying insufficient unit yes we want to purchase and we click on add and if you look over here now we have a Pitanji rice and we have uh, available unit of 100 great now we can actually make a sale of one unit and then we can click on add record it and now you see over here Pitanji rice is 99 if you want we can also export these transactions to excel and let's see how these transactions look uh, 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 okay so this is how the, the there were units purchased and then quantity and all blah 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 okay so let us come back over here now we look for daily expenses then we have some expenses blah 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 because i am not not an accounting person and uh, if there is something that you want to edit i will tell you how you can edit it so we enter an amount over here and then we add this transaction it will come like this and then we click on export and then we can see that daily expenses has come over here this this looks great and then you click on pivot table you will see the pivot table as well this also looks amazing and you can also refresh this table and this everything is for free 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 except the unlocking of tool or customization and changes okay so we come over here to the product and as I've shown you that we can add product over here if you come to vendors we can add vendors over here for example you have a very nice customer like me so you want to add that customer for further records or maybe you want to contact or uh, send SMS to that particular customer and irritate him so here we can enter that so this is the customer will be um, Mani Shankar so we'll uh, right now we'll add another custom Rama Shankar and address is ABC London E P E E O O R and then we enter the phone huh. can enter a the way we want okay ABC at gmail.com gmail.com click on add and the customer has been added over here 
and we can also export this information to Excel. So you look over here, the, if the, the information has come very nicely. So uh, we're done with this one. Okay, let's come back to report, which is very important part of the aut automation. Uh, here we can uh, actually choose a data range to get the particular uh, transactions uh, filtered. So right now it is showing everything. Uh, you can also use a range. You can use six months or 30 days, whatever you want. Now we can see inventory summary. Okay, it's, it should be inventory. Anyways, this much is okay. Uh, here you will see that how many units has been sold and Nibupani. Okay, here one unit uh, uh, we so sold from of Pitanjali rice that I have just just shown you, and then it is a margin. Okay, great. And then as the order is going to be one, and here it's going to be ten. Great, awesome. And now we see the daily expenses, which you can also select a range, and then you can export daily expenses depending on the range okay so right now if you look over here there are many transactions over here that comes over here which we can we select and it automatically uh, selects selects debit or credit that we can customize over here if you click on daily transactions lookup table transactions lookup table we can actually uh, 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 where is that sorry let us click again and see yeah, this is the one. So there are many transactions that we can use in daily transactions. You can amend them and add a new transaction as, as well. Please ensure that uh, these uh, credit and debit is in smaller case, I guess. Yes. And uh, yeah, and this transaction you can enter the way you like. You can also delete it, but don't delete everything from here. Then we have Tran lookup, uh, which, is, uh, which is something related to the first screen like here we, if, when you go home if you choose other there might be customer return or return to vendor <coughs> that you want to credit back to your transaction so let us say the customer uh, took that Pitanjali rice but he did not like that rice at all so we return that to uh, we we make a transaction as return and add it now the, to the total transaction comes back 200 there because this customer has returned it now we can we have a new party and 10 of the cust out of 10 customers five did not like it so we come and choose nibu party 49 and five customers has returned it so we do this and then you see that it's more 595 because five of the customers had returned it i uh, if we uh, say that uh, <coughs> vendor something was not good and we have to uh, return that to vendor so we can enter and uh, make an entry as return to vendor and click on add and if you look over here five is gone because this is being returned to customer we can also export to excel and see what is happening or what the crap is over. okay so this is returned to us returned by customer so the quantity has come back and here the quantity is gone because it is return to the vendor great so coming back here <coughs> you can see the transaction database uh, I could see how the transactions are coming here if you want to edit something you can actually edit but I would not recommend when you add anything you have to be very careful with that if you make any uh, mistake in the database this automation might behave weird okay so just be careful when you use your mastermind and make changes in it okay so i hope this particular automation uh, will help you to maintain record of your warehouse and yes this will definitely help and uh, you come back over here for similar kind of videos you can share subscribe and like my channel okay thank you for watching and uh, keep supporting and thank you for love you that the, the automation link is in the description you can download it and use it for free for any customizations you can contact me on fiverr and i would be glad to help you to make customizations thank you and take care and have a nice